Bosco. What? No Baron? Let me guess. Protocol Indigo again? And he's our new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship. And you can stop by the Trade Authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. I can assure you this unprovoked attack on a United Colonies research facility will not... You will be scanned as you enter the city. Please keep moving. This is New Atlantis Transit, or the NAT. It provides free transportation throughout the city. We can take it directly to is quite aesthetically pleasing. Or so Barrett has told me. New Atlantis relies on advanced hydroelectrics for most of its power. Sergeant Yumi is looking for reliable people to help the guard. Contact him if you're interested. We'd all appreciate it. We may be in a United Colonies city, but Constellation is an entirely neutral entity and always has been. I, I think I got that. Here we are, the lodge. The front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting. Captain, everyone will be in the library, just inside. If Barrett were here, he'd probably tell you that you're part of something bigger now. And he hopes you'll make this place your home. Oh, Ridiculous. Easiest bet I'll ever win. What I'm suggesting is so outlandish. All the phenomenon we see. We appear to have a visitor. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? I see. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Oh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? We think it's anyone else who pulls one out of the rock for the first time. Why? We're not sure yet. So if you wouldn't mind adding another data point. Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, Country, if you expect us to believe in fairy If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, 
I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. That's it. Just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves Easy, that... girl. Breathe. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Godfrey? You're on, Walter. Well... If we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. Barrett makes it back to us. I know he gets into trouble all the time, and everyone just sort of accepts he'll be fine, but still. That was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. I guess a lot overwhelming, now that I think about it. I'm Noelle. It's really nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. Oh, gosh. No, I mean, that's... that's flattering, but really, we're making this up as we go. Until you arrived, we only had the two, and the vaguest sense that there was something more at work. There's still so much we don't know, and that means a lot of work ahead of us. Well, right now, nothing's off the table. Metallurgical analysis, chemical composition... I'm looking at everything. One thing I'm really trying to improve is my overall database of xenobiology. I don't know if it will help in this case, but the more we know about, well, everything, the better off we are, right? Speaking of, if you're going to be out there looking for more artifacts, you're bound to come across some interesting specimens. Anything organic, I'd be happy to take it off your hands. There's a galaxy chock full of resources. The more data I have, the more thorough an analysis I can do. And if it sweetens the deal, I can pay. Pretty well, too. Walter's pockets may not be bottomless, but they are pretty deep. Great, let's see what you have. Planning on sticking around then? Good. I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. Right, so you've seen the library, obviously. 
Walter is quite proud of the collection, but Matteo has made more than a few contributions. Gardens are out the doors there, if you need a moment of quiet contemplation. Emphasis on the quiet part, at least usually. Let's head upstairs. Sebastian Banks, Constellation's founder, had this place built decades ago. It was a big to-do at the time, but most people in the city have forgotten we're here. I am at your service, Captain. So this is the bar, usually no tender, so help yourself, within reason, of course. Now let's see about that room. You're in luck. We were almost at max occupancy already, but there's still one room up for grabs. It's been nice having the place so full. Okay, this'll be you. Common room on one side, so that'll be quiet, and Mateo on the other side, so maybe a little less quiet. I'm sure Sarah has something planned for each of us, so I'd better get back to it. Don't want to keep her waiting too long. Enjoy! I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Well, I suppose calling you a rock breaker may have been a bit out of line. Still doesn't excuse it. My frustrations lie more with Barrett. Not the first time his shenanigans have jeopardized one of our ventures. Not fair of me to take it out on you, especially since it would seem he made the right call this time. So. Let's start over, shall we? Walter Stroud, CEO of Stroud Eklund, member of Constellation, and off times grumpy old man. Welcome aboard. By the way, in addition to a place to stay, the Lodge has a wealth of modification and research equipment. Spacesuit customization, pharmaceutical manufacturing, testing alien substances, the whole thing. You can even fashion industrial pieces for large-scale projects, if you don't mind extracting a few raw resources from a nearby planet, that is. I'm a fan of self-reliance, so I encourage you to make use of the tools we have to build what you need. Me? <laughs> Why, I'm the wallet. Someone has to fund all this, and all my success in business doesn't mean much if I can't put it to good use. I don't pretend to have the daring of Ms. Morgan, or the smarts of young Mateo, but I can make sure that they have the resources they need. And, as you've now seen, those resources aren't being wasted. We're onto something big here. 
Funny thing about companies, you build one sturdy enough, it doesn't need you there all the time to prop it up. Stroud Eklund functions quite well on a day-to-day -day basis, leaving me time to devote to more esoteric pursuits. For years, I was captivated by the writings of Constellation's founder, Sebastian Banks. I finally decided to do something more than admire from a distance, and so now I call the Lodge home as much as anywhere else. Up until very recently, I'd likely have dismissed it as, I don't know, hallucinations. But now, I'm not sure what to think. I don't suppose you have a history of this sort of thing, do you? Well, clearly the sarcasm center of your brain is intact. I'm no scientist. I leave that to the likes of Barrett and young Noel there. But I think we can all agree there's something unusual going on here. Frankly, this is the most exciting thing that's happened in years. We're most well known for ship manufacture. No expense spared. If you want the best and can afford it, you choose Stroud Eklund. Unfortunately, our success means you'll sometimes see Stroud Eklund ship modules on less than reputable vessels. They covet them. The bastards. I've tried to convince the United Colonies we can help in that regard, but they're married to Deimos Star Yards, and those old salts are stuck in the glory days. Until next time. Bet you never expected to end up involved in something like this. Are you doing okay? I'm not sure anyone really no, asked I'm yet. Don't want you to think we're focused on the artifacts and nothing else. You matter too. Oh, You've done something really significant bringing that artifact here. I'm Mateo, theological scholar by trade, but now, well, an explorer like you. It's really good to have you with us. I'm just a walking bank account, aren't I? You don't fool me for a moment. The second one was on Kazar, buried the same as the one you found. But the first one, right under our noses for years, sitting in storage, masquerading as an oversized paperweight. Can you imagine potentially the greatest discovery in human history collecting dust? I'm not gonna lie, I really wish I could have seen this for myself. It's hard to judge otherwise. Both you and Barrett saw something. I don't think that's a coincidence. Did it feel like it was trying to tell you something? I don't want to necessarily use the words divine revelation, but... You know, if the label fits. It has to be, right? All of this is connected. We just need to figure out how and why. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. We just need more data, which means more artifacts. Well, there was some overlap in interests. I'd spent years searching for religious relics from human history. I had made a really incredible discovery, only to lose it to a greedy corporation. So I tried to steal it back. In the process, I met Walter. Turned out he owned the corporation. After a long talk, we realized we had a lot in common, and I was invited to join Constellation. Take care of yourself. I know everyone's excited by the artifacts, but we need to be as objective as possible and be aware of yeah, possible what is it? negative effects. So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? You're telling me you haven't been on the lookout at all? We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. Jumping to anthropology on me already? Oh, well, good. We all need our own reasons to be out there. But it's not just that. 
I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself, and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact, or this lead runs dry. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before, or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? I am at your service, Captain. your friend. Hopefully Constellation's newest member. Thought I'd run through some legwork together. Oh, another space explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? All right, all right. Can't blame me for trying, right? I mean, I still haven't given up on getting Sarah to re-enlist. It's a game we play. He asks, I say no. Here's what I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which Admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. Soul system is a lot of planets, but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. Anything for Sarah. You see, always takes care of its own. Even the prodigal children. No, oh, brother. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. You see is a good friend to have.
Bulk items may require multiple levels of approval and can take up to several weeks for an official response. We apologize for any delay. Welcome to UC Distribution. Now, before you say a word, I am required to inform you that formal complaints cannot be filed until the customer feedback system is back online. I have been told it'll be up and running in two weeks, but you know how these things are. I am sorry for any potential inconvenience. Also, if you're here about a corporate account, I've been assured that deliveries will be back on schedule soon. I hope we have what you need. You're always welcome back, if you don't mind a bit of a wait. I always liked that statue. It's beautiful, isn't it? Mm. I wonder what the artist was trying to represent. Keep moving, right through the checkpoint. Security scanners, chemical well, sniffers. Mm. United time. Colonies sure isn't That's taking any chances.
Eight leeches in the engine. Leeches on the hull. Multiple leeches in the grab drive. I suppose that would explain the brownout. Look at this place. I can't imagine being cramped down here, choking on the fumes and the dust. No trees, no grass. It's depressing. This is bullshit. I got a wife and kids at home. Do your part we can't to wait Sidonia almost two months for a job free. that may not be. Servant, we get a lot of new faces passing through here. He ain't been around. Went off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the blackest sea. You in the service? I know the feeling, but uh, you just get so used to losing people. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian. Especially, one that's missing. But... <clears throat> he has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but... If I'm out all that money, I got problems. What do you say? No, oh, I've done this routine. Let's skip to the part where you admit you're lying about what he owes. You call me a liar? I'll throw both of you out of this bar right now. Oh, please. Two strangers arrive from Offworld asking for information only you have. You see an opportunity. Everyone always does. Lower the price. Don't think we can't find another way to get what we want. Fine. Come on. Life on Sidonia ain't hard enough. You gonna guilt trip me? Guess I should ask you this. Maybe. I hear you. I'm trying to be reasonable here. All right, I give up. Just trying to earn a living here. Last time he was here, Moera kept yelling about the Lady of Love. Just singing songs, all that kind of thing. Venus? That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? Oh, fine. We'll make do. Forget it, let's get out of here. Maybe it's not too late to catch a ride back home. Deimos Star Yards may be the first Damn. major ship back there. Yeah, you're right. Used to think I was Vanguard material, until I discovered the space travel. Am I in your way? Sorry. shielded from the harsh Martian landscape. and we'll get underway.
You ever run into one? <laughs> Completely devoted to a deity they call the Great Serpent. The devourer of the unbelievers. I'll let you guess what happens if they spot us. No, but I think I see something else that might. There's a UC satellite beacon hovering distressingly close to those Varun ships. If we can get close enough to it, we could download its logs and figure out where our vanguard was heading to next. Exactly. Minimal ship power. Go slow. We grab the data on that satellite and jump away.
star yard, still orbiting Earth's moon. This is where the first interstellar ships were made. People still use their modules, even though their star yard hasn't been running in forever. Keep your weapons ready. Never know who else might be scavenging there. Time to get this ship moving. Two steps in and we're already looking at a corpse. Okay, it's not Vanguard for horror. Looks like spacers were scavenging around here and someone else came in and said hello. Oh, this won't be your last encounter with a spacer crew. They pillage abandoned facilities and shoot anyone who gets in their way. They even left.
Vanguard Moira? Sorry if I had to reclaim some UC property, but this whole star yard is overrun. I've patched up my ship and I'm heading to Neptune. Going to put in another request to get the fleet out here to deal with these spacers. But until then, if any of you thugs are listening, I'm the damn ghost stealing your stuff in the night. Clear out while you have the chance. He's almost daring the spacers to come after him. Much better odds destroying one of their ships than fighting them all at once here. I don't suppose I have time for a nap before we leave? Hmm?
am I glad to meet whoever you two are. Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? What? You guys still exist? Man, I've only heard stories. We've heard stories too, about a strange object you found on patrol. So, you know what that thing is. I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. Mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? Hey, I'll trade some weird space rock for a rescue anytime. Hope you figure out whatever that thing is. Let's grab the artifact. Good work. Let's get back to the lodge. So, where to next? Satisfied with the quarters <laughs> available to you. Go ahead. Do the honors. It fits. Energy spiked a bit, but it's restabilized. Is there anything new showing up? No, it's the same as before. There's a massive output as the artifact is added, then it harmonizes. Like it's waiting for the others. Hmm, that's speculation, but I think you're right. We need more. Here. You've earned this. Welcome to Constellation, as a full member this time. We're going to do great things together, all of us. By the way, how would you like to keep traveling together? I'm not sitting behind my desk for this. These artifacts are a new chapter for Constellation, and I'm going to be out there for it. And I want you out there as well. You got results. <laughs> I need someone like you watching my back. All right. We've got a few more leads we should talk about. First, there's an expedition that Sam Co has been putting together. It's in Free Star Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett yet? A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it. No other word. Mm, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. Oh, that's right. He wasn't here when you first showed up. He should be back by now. I'll let him handle the introductions. If I steal his thunder, I'll never hear the end of it. Time to go? 